Number five, Degeneration X importance. Few wrestling factions have had as much consistent support from the WWE audience as D-Generation X from their start in 1997 to the modern day reunions. Triple H deserves to be viewed as the most important member of DX since he was in every version of the faction. The first run of Shawn Michaels leading Triple H in China into a new character space was great, but it was the versions led by Triple H that fans often love and remember the most. Triple H leading the New Age Outlaws, China and X-Pac version was huge during the Attitude Era, and he was considered a slight leader over Michaels in the 2006 reunion as well. Number 4. Legendary Feuds Any wrestler to have legendary feuds will see their careers remembered for those moments. Triple H being around for so long and having chemistry with fellow legendary talents created some rivalries that have and will continue to stand the test of time for decades. The Rock, Mick Foley, Stone Cold, The Undertaker and Batista are just a handful of names that had iconic feuds with Triple H to help both sides. Triple H delivered some of the best matches, segments and general stories told in WWE with these rivals and managed to pick up victories over every single one of them. Number 3. Overcoming Injuries Few wrestlers have shown their toughest moments as publicly as Triple H. One of the gutsiest performances in WWE history saw so Triple H finishing the tag team match with Stone Cold vs Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit on Monday Night Raw in 2001 after tearing his quad completely off the bone. Fans respected Triple H more than ever for that and when he returned he was greeted as a heroic figure. Triple H had another torn quad moment in another tag team match with Shawn Michaels against Edge and Randy Orton at New Year's Revolution 2007 and once again tried to finish the match while having an extremely painful injury. As if that wasn't enough, Triple H also managed to finish the first ever Elimination Chamber match in 2002 after RVD nearly crushed his throat after a botched frog splash. Number 2. Positive Change Leading WWE Creative The backstage aspect of Triple H's job duties in WWE over the past decade has won over many fans. Triple H running NXT was the first step when he signed and pushed beloved talents like Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Sasha Banks and Oscar. Triple H's recent run as the lead creative mind for the WWE main roster by replacing Vince McMahon has been continuing to improve the product week after week. Fans feel more comfortable with Triple H in charge of creative since he generally does what he feels is best for business more than soothing his own ego. Number 1 Top Attitude Era Heel The peak of Triple H's career is something that can easily be debated, but it's hard to argue against his heel run in the Attitude Era. Triple H's 2000 run was among the best calendar years for any wrestler in WWE history when becoming the top heel on the roster. With Stone Cold and The Rock being the two top stars, Triple H saw an opening for a mega heel to oppose both men, and with Stephanie McMahon marrying Triple H and adding an extra element to his character, put him over on top. Triple H had legendary programs with Mick Foley, The Rock, Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold and more, all in that short time as the top heel of the Attitude Era. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling content.